Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. Well, today is the day I need to take my uh, 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV with just under 157,000 miles on it um, down to have the battery replaced. And so this is under the recall warranty and um, yeah, it's as far as I know, it's just going to be a simple straightforward process, no money out of pocket. And not only is it going to uh, put the newer uh, 65, 66 kilowatt hour battery pack in there, which is already better than the battery pack that I originally came with the car, um, my, my battery after 156,000 miles is degraded about uh, 10%. So I'm going to be seeing almost a 20% uh, jump in usable energy capacity. Uh, that's a significant uh, jump in range. 30, 40, 50 miles on, on a full charge. So this should be fun. This should be interesting. I have to, I have to go. I, I need to be there in about an hour and a half and it's a pretty long drive to my dealership and, um, they think it's going to take the full day. And so I'm just going to have to hang out and I'll keep everyone updated, but, uh, let's hit the road. All right. Well, we made pretty good time. Uh, only, uh, took about an hour and 20 minutes to go a little over uh, 66 miles so and actually the numbers here are kind of weird because this is uh, again those uh, continental pure contacts don't have the same outside diameter as the stock tires so there is about a 1% discrepancy in actual distance traveled uh, but yeah I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, walk into the service desk I believe it's a 745 uh, appointment so we're a little bit early which is what I prefer but yeah just get everything um, cleaned up a little bit and then go in there and uh, get set up for the appointment I don't know if I'm gonna have to pull around to the back but then it's gonna be all day uh, so I don't know that they're giving me a courtesy vehicle or not, um, but even if they don't, uh, it's not a big deal. I have someone else coming down to pick me up and then have some errands to run during the day, but hopefully that, you know, they can get this all done in one day because <laughs> I kind of need them to. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get ready to have a new battery put in at 156,789 miles. All right, well, just a little bit of an update. We currently have uh, the car in the shop, so I'm just running around doing some errands. I'm driving around in the Volt. We were joined by a twin. Uh, I'm just kind of filling up here at uh, the EVGO charger while I'm waiting uh, for an appointment to finish up. But yeah, so far it should be all day. I haven't received a call, but they took the car in, said they'd get it done in a day, and that they'd give me a call when it was done, so I'm just waiting on that. But I, I probably added less than half a kilowatt hour in this so far. Uh, the volt charge is pretty slow, so unfortunately, doing several hundred miles of driving, um, I am burning gas having to replace uh, my uh, all-electric car's battery. All right, well, uh, I got my car. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty quick from the time I dropped it off at 7.45 a.m. to the time that I could come and pick it up was 2.30. Uh, the battery is fully charged, but they didn't reset any of the trip information. The energy usage screen is now refreshed, though, showing uh, 0.5 kilowatt hours used and 0.8 miles driven. So that's probably something that they drove after and a little bit of battery conditioning. Um, and so, yeah, I, I mean, and now it's, it's estimating a maximum range of 264. I know a lot of people have said, oh, their estimated range went down, uh, from where they dropped it off. But, uh, if you follow my channel, you know that I am very hard on the Bolt EV and in fact my typical efficiency in the Bolt EV is usually about 10% lower than what most people see and that has a lot to do with the fact that I tend to drive at higher sustained speeds for longer periods of time. I'm not talking about speeding but uh, electric vehicles at highway speeds uh, burn through their energy faster because you know, unlike gas cars, right, there's much lower parasitic losses. And so you feel the impacts of that extra energy consumption more. Uh, but either way, I'm super happy. The one thing, though, is by charging this to full, 
I do not feel fully comfortable with this car yet. And what I mean by that is uh, even when I had the battery software recall done, I wanted to uh, do a shakedown with it to see how it impacted charging, compatibility, things like that. And those are all things that I need to test with this car. Does auto charge still work? Uh, does all the functionality still work? Um, but otherwise, yeah, I'm super impressed. I'm super happy. It looks like I have significantly more energy just by the range estimator and the looks of the display than I had when I came in. Uh, but yeah, so now all, all that's necessary is about a 70 mile drive home. Super impressed, super happy, very painless process so far. Uh, they even ordered the part uh, because my battery is a first generation battery. It has an additional adapter uh, for the coolant hose because there's a difference between having like the, the male, female inlets, outlets for the battery cooling. But yeah, I mean, I feel like I have a brand new car at 156,790 miles. So let's hit the road. All right, so we're doing just a quick stop for a uh, gas. Uh, well, <laughs> for the Volt, right? Um, it's over there at the pump right now. We're less than 30 miles um, on the trip back. Uh, but what I noticed was that the energy uh, consumption was a lot higher than what I'm, I'm used to. According to the energy usage display, I think it's used 12 kilowatt hours in, in just the 28.7 miles that I've driven back. And it was jumping up really quickly early on. And I think this might be what some people are, are seeing. Um, you know, I'm less than halfway home, but this might be more than a lot of people drive uh, to return from their local dealer after they had their battery replaced. And so I've seen this before though, when I've used this car to run an inverter and it drains down the 12 volt battery, the BMS has no idea what's gone on with any of that energy. And all it knows is there's energy coming out. It doesn't know where it's going. So this looks to me like the BMS has been tricked in some way. So it's not a big deal. Um, you know, I think we've used less than maybe 10, uh, no, somewhere between 10 and 15% battery to go this 28.7 uh, miles, which is just in keeping. Uh, with what I'm used to, but that's nowhere near uh, 12 kilowatt hours worth of energy to go 30 miles. So there's a missing, um, I don't know, probably four to six kilowatt hours that the BMS can't account for. Uh, and and this, is, uh, this is perfectly normal, but so far everything with the car is driving right. Uh, and then we're just going to finish gassing up. I'll have to finish waiting for a gas car uh, to finish filling up and then we can continue the trip home. All right, well, that was an uneventful trip back um, other than stopping for gas uh, for the Volt, which I never would have had to do for the, the Bolt EV. Um, and, I mean, there's just too much energy in the battery to warrant stopping at all for a charge, plus it's been a long day. The turnaround time for actually getting this done was, was fairly short. And then, of course, just on the trip back, um, like I said, the energy efficiency on the energy usage screen looks wrong. Uh, probably due to, um, like I said, the BMS just losing track of where the energy was. And then uh, just in terms of the trip back, just another 66 or so miles back. Uh, and we arrived with 25, 30, about 35% battery that we used to go that 66 miles. Like I said, that's already typically inefficient uphill uh, but I don't know for a fact that it was at 100% full when I got it. Uh, it. It just looked relatively close. So uh, we'll have to do a capacity test and we'll have to do just validation tests in terms of making sure this car is still compatible with all the chargers. It's still working uh, the way I expect it to. The capacity will be welcome and, um, you know, and I'll be able to test out the new charging curve. Anyway, like I said, all that aside, um, everything that I I'm, you know, pretty happy with how, you know, effective the switch was. Um, I mean, it makes, makes me wonder if they, if they wanted to, they could, uh, <laughs> they could, they could even probably do a battery swapping service if they, if they hammer it in a little bit tighter. Cause I mean, this was pretty impressive how seamless, uh, everything was 
they even got the coolant hose that they needed for my, you know, pre-2017 uh, uh, battery. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just super happy they even put a <laughs> Chevrolet certified battery update sticker on my windshield. I didn't ask for it, um, but <laughs> I'm not going to take it off. <laughs> I still have my screen protector. And if anybody gives me any guff, I'll say, hey, look, I got a new battery. So, uh, Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out now. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in, in, you know, or concerns. Uh, in, in the comments, yeah, let us know if, if you do have a Bolt EV, if you've had the battery replaced, if you're still waiting on it, if maybe you've bought a used Bolt EV that needs a battery replaced, or if you bought one with an updated battery. Um, but yeah, look forward to the testing of how the charging curves function, uh, how making sure everything is still compatible. I'm probably going to stop back by um, the ChargeNet charger in South San Francisco and try those newer tr tritium units again uh, at some point just to, to see if this battery swap and replacement uh, affected anything. So anyway, I, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was informative and helpful. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And thank you for watching.